DJ with DJ Pro AI in 2023 and you are not taking advantage of the amazing video mixing feature, then you are missing out. And stay tuned till the end of the video and get to see what it looks like when it is connected to this amazing Kodak projector. Links to the projector and all of the other adapters and stuff that you will need to do this will be linked down below. In DJ Pro AI, you press the middle button up here, and this is how we change into the different modes. All the way to the right here is video mode. So this is what it's gonna look like. The top is going to be different than you're used to if you DJ in pro mode, but the bottom is going to be exactly the same. So you could use Nero Mix, you could use your EQs, you could do Cue points, everything is available there. The only thing that is different is down here at the bottom. I believe this is a new update and it wasn't always here or I just didn't notice it. Down here, we have our mixer and EQ. That's the same exact thing as in the other modes. But if we press down here to the right, instead of having the EQ and the mixer, we get the waveforms. So you could DJ and see your waveforms while you're using video mode. Also, if video mode is connected to a TV or a projector, then you could go into any mode. You could DJ however you want, classic mode, pro mode, looper, whatever you want, and the image will still be projected. When you plug in your iPad to a TV or projector, you're gonna get a message saying, do you wanna mirror the iPad screen or do the video output? If you select the video output, then what is playing here in the middle is always gonna be shown on the screen. The only time I would use the mirroring the screen is if maybe I'm doing a cool scratching routine and I want people to see what's going on on the deck so they know I'm really DJing. Or also if I'm doing like an auto mix, you'll be able to see the transitions on the auto mix and then also if you're doing an auto mix with music videos, it's like watching uh, MTV back in the day. And it's really cool if you're like hanging out at home or if people are just like eating dinner or something at the party that you are performing at. We have our two decks over here. So they are going to be identical. So I'm just going to show you what one does. And then we'll get into this middle section here, which could be a little bit confusing. So obviously we have the music select button here. And if we go in into title, which I highly recommend if you're planning to do this to subscribe to the title streaming service because you will be able to DJ with music videos. So if you have a music video loaded up into the deck, it is going to show up in the middle, which will be on the screen when you are DJing. Also, if you're not using a music video, then we have options for the visualizer. So these visualizers will go with the beat. There's some really cool ones. So this is like a city one, or you could get more of like an abstract one. This one's like a countdown. There's all different ones. They add new ones sometimes. You could get more. You could turn it off so you don't, so it's not showing. Then in the middle, you could use videos, but it's a little bit complicated because the video exceeds 30 frames per second, which in some cases will affect the playback. So sometimes it'll work, sometimes it will not. You may have to experiment with formatting your videos. Also, you could use live photos so that if you want to take a live photo, maybe you're doing a wedding or something and you ha have some cool pictures of the wedding, people dancing and stuff, you could actually put it on the screen. And this adds a really personalized effect if you're doing like a wedding or a sweet 16. Now you may be asking yourself, where do my jog wheels go? How do I use jog wheels when I'm in this mode? The actual image is a jog wheel so you could actually scratch you could stop the track from playing you could use it that way and now another thing is they added some really cool effects so there are audio effects which which you know about there's visual effects these effects the visual effects are only going to affect the visuals and not the audio at all and then the audio visual are going to affect the audio and the visual so there's like an echo there's a strobe that's pretty cool and again, it'll go with the beat. So experiment with these different effects and see which ones you're gonna to wanna to use for your transitions and stuff. And now the image that is displayed is based on the crossfader. So I have this image on the left, this image on the right. As I go to the left, it's gonna fade in and 
fade out. So keep in mind, if you're wondering where's your image, it's based on the crossfader. It might take a little bit of getting used to because a lot of DJs are used to DJing with the volume fader and not the crossfader. So now this middle section is really cool. Let's start with the left. These are our different transitions, and now they have added some new transition. There's the blend 50-50. There's the push. This is going to affect what goes on when you move the crossfader. So push looks like that. Blend is going to be like this. Again, test these out. See which transitions work for your style of mixing and see which ones work for the transitions that you want to do. And now down here, split audio video, we get a double crossfader. So you could use the crossfader for the audio. So it's like a regular crossfader. And then up here is going to be the video crossfader. I find it to be a little confusing, so I don't do that. But if you want to get more advanced than you can, I believe that is a new feature as well. Our middle button, still the middle button. This right here is full screen. The full screen view is what the audience is going to see at all times. Down here to the left, we could add text. So now we could add text. So you could either have it if the crossfader is on the right, or you could have it displaying at all times, or you could have it at the left. Maybe you could say congratulations to the bride and groom. You could have your DJ name, whatever you want to do. And then you could choose the alignment. So that's the middle. You have these different. You can't drag and drop it, but you could go from these different boxes. Font size. What I like to do is sometimes during my intro, I'll make um, DJ Spiegelsman make it bigger. Down here, we could change how, the, how much we could see it. So all the way, and then it could be kind of transparent. This, we could change the, the color of the font. And then we have a choice of a whole bunch of different fonts. So find the font that fits your style and you can use it. So text overlay is cool. If you want to do the lyrics of the song, something like that, you can. And then you can do an image overlay as well. So the image over overlay is the same thing. You can choose the left, the middle, or right. You could scale it up, scale it down, make it, make it see through, make it not see through again. This is really cool. You could take pictures while you're doing your set, or you can have your own pictures and your own stuff. And that's how you use video mode in DJ Pro AI. If you want to learn more about how to connect your iPad into a projector or TV, check out one of the videos up there where I show you in detail how to do it quickly. Thanks for watching.